What's up guys? So today on this Shoki Transformers review, we're going to take a look at an exclusive from Walgreens. It is the Titans Returns Generation Transformers Cloudraker and Wingspan. And this little two-pack is pretty much only available ever at Walgreens. So I found one this morning, said what the heck, why not? may not keep it in my collection, but it's kind of cool to have actually found them. Now, originally, I think you could get a different version of this guy, one of the other clones, in the uh, Chaos on Velocitron uh, set from Toys R Us. Otherwise, I don't know if they were ever releasing the rest of the clone figures. But, of course, you got Transformers logo here. Transform or, sorry, Generations, plus Autobot. And you got one Autobot and one Decepticon down there. Now, I don't know much about these guys. I have seen other reviews. But you got the nice window right here. So you can see them in their little plastic prisms all strapped down. And you get the Titans Return kind of background going on there. Speaking of that, big old Titans Return there. Legends class. Classe Legendes. Legendes? Legendes? Classe Leandas. Classe Lendaria. Nice. Fantasy scene. <laughs> oh my god. Hasbro logo there. Age E dud. E dud E. H plus. Hey, I'm right in the middle of that. Of course, nice little image there. Come to the bottom, that doesn't really matter. Come to the side, you got the Decepticon Meteor logo there. Come to this side, you have a nice little image of them right there. Of course, the continuation there. Decepticon logo right there. Where's the Autobot logo? <laughs> they put all the Decepticon logos with no Autobot logos. Okay, so you got Wingspawn, clone brother of Decepticon Pounce. That's the only thing he has. Cloudraker, clone brother of Fast Clash. That's pretty much it. I think Flash or Fast Clash is a car while he is a plane and of course he's a bird now they are pretty much exactly the same mold but they do things very very differently so it's pretty neat with two figures and two collector cards and two instructions no just one instructions all right and then you got your warnings zero to three year olds will be unhappy hasbro logo there so let's get this thing open and see if these guys are actually cool All right, guys, we have Cloud Raker and Wingspan out of the packaging and actually in their alt modes because, well, I need to learn how to transform them. <laughs> These guys are super simple. They are Legends class figures and stuff like that, so they're easier. They are definitely smaller. And at just going through the instructions, they do actually seem to have some kind of interplayability with even the little Titans Masters that we've gotten before. So, but before we get that far, take a look at the only kind of thing that it comes with. And you get both kind of collector cards here. You have Cloud Raker on this side, and you've got Wingspan on the other. And I'm not going to take them out. I'm going to leave them in here because, like I said, I'm probably going to end up selling these. And the uh, prospective owner probably would prefer this stuff get left alone. You do get the instructions. whoop de doo They're not hard. One side is one. One side is the other. Real easy. Now, of course, you have him in his little spaceshipy jet mode, and you have this guy in his eagle mode. Does look pretty good. And let's bring in the other Titans Returns figures I've got, just for size. So you've got Deluxes here. You've got Hardhead. Actually scales pretty good with these guys. And then Hot Rod. So you can see... A bit of the differences right there so they're a little bitty but you know comparatively speaking it's about half the size but like i said they're legends they're little dudes now set these guys off to the side and we'll bring in wally for a size comparison too there's mr wally wally here's some new little transformers friends don't get used to them. <laughs> you're better. You're better quality than they are. And for the last legend scale things we looked at, here is slag from DX9. So you can see, you know, it's actually pretty big. But that's obviously I didn't feel like transforming him up. So let's take a look at. Let's take a closer look at the individual figures. So, of course, here's Cloud Raker in his little jet spaceship mode. And, well, it's it's not 
not terrible, but it's not great. Definitely reminds me of some of the simpler Transformers I grew up with. Now, one thing that is nice, he does actually have a nice metallic plastic going on here. A little metallic flake pretty much all over him. It actually looks pretty good. we got a little... Uh, might be a sticker, might be a tampograph, little Autobot logo there. You got a red one right there, nice and silvery. Yellow paint there, white paint here, blue paint there for the cockpit. <laughs> Any of the other stuff is just bare plastic from what I can tell. Yeah, none, nothing else is painted except for the hands. If we come around here, we got a tiny bit of visible head syndrome right there. <laughs> can't really avoid it. Same thing with the hands, we can't really avoid seeing those but you get these little kind of thrustery looking things right here in red and silver is what it is a little bit of silver bits right there on the thrusters and really i'm having issues with some of the fitment here i wonder if tra changing it up might help turn that let's see if i can finagle it a little bit differently maybe it'll make a difference Yeah, that's a tighter fit if I did it that way. So let that let that be part of the instructions, guys. Turn the hips differently. And maybe it'll be a tighter fit, like so. That's actually a little bit nicer. I don't think the instructions mention that, so make sure whenever you transform it, you have the hips like this. It's gonna take some finagling. But it's actually not too bad. And you have the little fin right back in there. And, of course, the visible arms just chilling out right here on top. <laughs> they don't peg in. They don't do anything. They're just right up here doing their thing. So you could maybe fold it up. Nope. Okay. Now, I said you can add a little bit of playability with Titan's Masters. So you can flip this little kind of hatch up and it becomes a seat. We'll bring in Hot Rod here. And you got the little gap right there for his little tab. And he can ride around on the back of it for no real reason because he can't peg in or anything. But hey, you know, maybe if you're a kid, you actually like that. <laughs> I don't know. It's not too bad. Let's set Cloudbreaker back here. Let's pick up Wingspan because we can actually do the same thing. May as well start there. You still have the tab right there. The instructions don't actually show it, but you can do it. This one actually wedges in there pretty good. So I actually like the look of that. That looks pretty good. And there's probably some better looking Decepticon headmasters that would work really good on this guy. Now, I probably do prefer this one because, well, uh, I like the colors. Definitely got the Decepticon thing going on with the pinks and the blues and the whites and the turquoise. I really do dig it. And he hides a lot of the robotness. I mean, the hands might be totally hanging out of his butt right here. And that sucks. But other than that, I mean, it's actually a very good-looking eagle or falcon or whatever. Although this plastic, I don't know what happened to it. It looks really abused and scratched and beat up. I have no idea. It's a brand-new toy straight out of the box. It looks like crap. But, hey, that's the backside. Who cares? Nobody looks at the backside of their toys anyways. The tail does have a little bit of articulation. Of course, that's more or less a butt skirt whenever he's in robot mode. The wings are pretty limited in what they do because they are pretty much just the legs but I guess if you want to you can untab it and get the wings tilted up a little bit even add a little bit from the wing tips so that's actually not bad his little eagle face isn't too bad could do with some panel lining but I like the orange eyes going on there mouth doesn't open it does actually hide the head fairly well there we go. Actually, it was it was a little bit crooked and wasn't quite there. Come down to the bottom or the chest, and you got his little emblem there, up there, and you have his Decepticon emblem down there. You have his little bird feet hanging out the bottom. Reminds me of a little bit of Wing Gundam. Not gonna lie. Tab the wings back in, and pretty much all of the color you see on this guy is paint. I really do dig that. And in fact, I think this chest piece is actually die cast. Because it looks different than all the other stuff. Now this one, it's kind of hard to tell, but I don't think he's got die cast. So I think he's entirely plastic. But I could be wrong. Um, considering these, this set is fairly cheap, to have die cast in there would be a little odd. But I, I think that, no, mm, at least looking down here, that's obviously plastic because of the big old uh, nub 
hanging off the back there. So maybe I'm wrong and it just looks that good. I'm giving Bandai a whole lot of credit there. But uh, that's it for their little alt modes. So let's go ahead and get them into robot mode. Real easy. Technically, we've already seen a robot mode in the packaging, but you know the, the actual transformation is really, really easy. So if we come down to the wings, use that double hinge to fold that up like so. Pick the tail up just a little bit and untab from right there. There's just a little bit of a gap right in there. So we bring that down clear the feet you've got this whole big part that swings out and we'll tab in to the middle like so go ahead and straighten out the legs rotate at the thighs so legs are done I'm gonna come up to the chest go ahead and grab the shoulders open them up just like so and just rotate at the elbow slash bicep, whatever will actually rotate, go ahead and rotate it. Looks pretty good. Go ahead and grab the eagle head and just flip it straight back. Turn the head around and you're done with wingspan. Nice. Now come over here to Cloud Raker. And while it's a very, it's, the, the engineering is pretty much identical, they transform differently. It's actually pretty neat. So come over here. You want to untab, untab the legs right there. Not nothing too bad. Though of course this is where having those hips out of the way would come in handy. Come up here to the cockpit area. Kind of untab it and have to tab in or click in somewhere in there, and just use the double big double hinge to rotate it to the back like so. Now you pull the same trick with the legs. Pull the hips down. Go ahead and rotate there rotate at the thigh same thing on the other side just like so you know flip the feet forward mind you those are very very loose stop it okay and then you can tuck the wings away just like that come up to the arms split them open the same way we did before rotate them down Flip out the very painted hands and turn the head around. And there you've got Cloud Raker done. And done. <laughs> Alright, guys, so as a set, I think they look pretty good in robot mode. But once again, this guy's killing it. it. Almost reminds me of like a tiny six shot color wise. So, you know, maybe, maybe that's where that comes from. Like I said, I don't know really much about these characters in and of themselves i just know that they're part of the clone saga or clone wars i don't know exactly but these there's a bunch of these now the setting is i think we only got three or four ever in the actual titans return line I think they might have all been exclusives might have all been parts of different sets obviously these guys came in a two-pack and like i said his brother that pretty much his twin but in like a little car uh comes in i guess it's a hover car comes in the chaos on velocitron i don't even remember what his name is don't pay that much attention. Wasn't going to pay 100 bucks for it. Anyways, so uh, the plastic um, feels cheap. Definitely feels a little thin, a little cheap. But, I mean, it, it's a Legends class figure, so I guess that is what it is. But it's mostly the red. The red feels cheap, but the whitish color feels a little bit better. Of course, we're seeing all the same paint and details for the most part, but in just a slightly new light. And, of course, we do get to see his face. He's got a light blue metallic visor and a white painted Mouth plate looks pretty good. Of course, the head does rotate, part of the transformation. The arms do go out 90 degrees, no problem. They do rotate all the way around because everything is pretty much a ball joint. Now, this one, oddly enough, even though it's the same mold, the biceps do not rotate where they do on him. You do get the elbow rotation, so that's where all of your rotation and transformation comes from. That's not too bad. The hands are painted. The only wrist articulation comes in the form of transforming. They do give you the big old hands. So even though they don't come with weapons, you can hold any of the Titans Masters weapons. Like so. We'll just use Hot Rod's guns because, well, he's right here. 
Just steal everything from the hot rod. I don't want to go in there. So you can actually wield weapons just like anybody else, although they do look really big with these guys. The legs do work as such. T mounts ball joints as they do. And of course, as we already saw, thigh rotation, knee bend as part of the transformation, and a tiny bit of foot pivot. Not that it really matters. They're not super poseable, but you can sort of get a decent a decent thing here. The knee doesn't want to bend. There we go. It's like, bend! Bend you! Come on. Good enough. Rotate the head just a hair. There we go. Nice. I'll actually set him back a little bit out of the way. And I'll take a look at wingspan. So, little bitty white head, tiny red eyes. I kind of wish he had some silver in there or something. Break that face sculpt up. I guess technically speaking, I didn't even think about it. Due to the transformation, they have a slight butterfly for the arms. You're never going to use it that way. You do have the ball joint mount, same thing here. Same 90 degree cutout there. But this is what I was saying. He has a strange bicep cutout. I, that one has to have it. It just isn't utilizing it for some reason. Oh, by the way, head does rotate as per transformation as usual. Elbow does the elbowy things. Hands are totally fixed in place and painted. In some cases, badly, but hey, it is what it is. Cheap figures, guys. You do get some nice turquoise paint, as I said right there, or maybe cyan, whatever color that might be. Dark blue paint for otherwise, or maybe it's just molded in plastic and very shiny. White paint here over what I had to guess is the same turquoisey color. Nice uh, Decepticon logo on the crotch. Legs are pretty much exactly the same in every way. Knees bend 90 degrees thighs rotate just like before but it does look good you got the white paint and yellow paint on the legs and feet I actually like that though you lose the color in the legs and they just vaguely try to cover up the wings I find that quite funny but if you really want to I guess some gunk there <sighs> to give them a really wide stance you could just flip that out though that actually destabilized them so never mind I lied don't do that Stop doing it. He doesn't want to hold guns and stand up. But of course, this guy can hold weapons as well. But <laughs> maybe he'll stand better than his than his uh, enemy enemy clone here. We'll give him Hardhead's gun. So we'll have an absolute clash of colors there. But hey, it can hold a weapon. It's what it do. So set him down there. And for comparison's sake, there they are next to Wally. So about half, a little over half taller than Wally. Looks pretty good. Here they are next to an actual Titan Master. So these little guys are, of course, itty bitty. Where these guys are legends, so they're still. Big old Transformers for the most part. And there he is next to Slug, who is significantly taller. But I guess it is what it is. And of course, we got to compare it to the Deluxes. So there's Hot Rod, who is as loose as ever. And, and there's Hardhead. Although, I do want to point out something interesting about Hardhead. Let me scooch these back. I know it suddenly got usurped. Uh, when I was transforming him, I noticed a glaring default. You guys remember I pointed this out in the review. It looked like he had a crack going across the head. When I picked up his Titan Master a minute ago, it was like this. It actually had broken all the way through. That is crazy. It actually looks like partially melted. I didn't put glue or anything on this, so I have no idea what happened. But it looks like I will be gluing it back into place and just leaving his Titan Master alone for the time being. But, guys, be careful with that. That's crazy that that broke the way it did. I mean, maybe it was my paints did that, but I, I don't know. I, so, <laughs> but yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much it. So, I mean, that's, that's these little guys in a nutshell. 
So they're cool little figures. I don't think I really need to keep them. They're neat, but uh, I think they had to have been maybe about fifteen dollars, roughly, because I spent t just over twenty. And I bought a couple other things with these guys. I kind of neglected to look at the price because it said twenty five dollars for something in the Titans Return line. Obviously, it wasn't these guys. So if you guys like them, go pick them up. They're Walgreens, or you can find them online. By all means, if this is your bag. I'm going to say get it, but, it, you know, Titan's Return line is what it is. And, of course, some of this is rolling over into the new Power of the Primes line, which I may or may not pick some of those up. We'll see. Maybe that'll have to be a Patreon deal. If you guys want to see me get those, we'll have to look at that. But, as always, guys, speaking of my Patreon, thanks, guys. You guys are always good. Andy, John, Steve, you are awesome. If you guys haven't looked at the... Life of Shoki Vlogs, make sure you go over there and check them out and see a lot of fun behind the scenes stuff. But guys, remember as always, keep on nerding. <laughs>